Hi, in this video, I wanna share with you how to design and create a professionally looking 3D ebook cover, just like the one you're looking at right now. Hey, it's Aurelius Chin, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out on any videos around digital product creation and email marketing. Okay, so in this video, I wanna share with you step-by-step step how to go about creating and designing a 3D ebook cover or product cover, whatever it may be. It could be a lead magnet, it could be a software, it could even be merchandise like a t-shirt or some clothing. Best of all, I'm going to show you how to do this even if you have no design skills or if you're not tech savvy. I'm gonna show you how to do it even without using Photoshop. In particular, I do wanna go through the steps on how to go about designing an ebook cover specifically because I know a lot of you are digital product creators, uh, coaches and leaders. All right, so without further ado, let's head onto the screen so I can show you step-by-step step how to go about creating your ebook cover. Now, first things first, you're going to need a couple of tools. The first tool is called Smart Mockups. This is a web-based product mockup tool. So in other words, you can create ebook covers, software boxes, and even merchandise and put your logo on that so that you can actually display it on your website. They've got thousands of templates that you can choose from. But let me explain the pricing because before you actually start doing this, I'm gonna to explain to you, when you sign up, you can sign up for free. Now it's zero dollars to sign up. And the only caveat with the free plan is that you can save your images. However, there is a watermark which basically defeats the whole purpose. So there are some free mockups that you can use or some free templates that you can use. However, they're not as professional looking and they're not as appealing and attractive as the premium templates that they do provide in their paid plans. So paid plans start from $9 per month if you pay on an annual basis. Now, of course, you're not locked into any plans, which means if you do just wanna create that one product cover, then just go for the monthly plan and start with that. On the other hand, if you do create mockups and covers, then it's great to choose the annual plan to save on that. Now, the next tool you're going to need is none other than Canva. The reason why we are using two programs simultaneously, and you'll see why, is because Canva, you're able to create book covers. However, they are going to turn out just like a flat book cover, which could still be used for your product, but if you do want that eye-popping look, then use this process that I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So the process is simple. What we're going to do is design the actual book cover or product cover using Canva. And then what we're going to do is export or download that cover and then import it to Smart Mockups. So if you don't have those two programs yet, sign up for a free account. And yes, with Canva, it is free and you won't need to pay for Canva in particular. But with Smart Mockups, if you do want to create uh, covers, that uh, based on the premium templates, then you're going to have to upgrade. Let's start with Canva first. So log into your Canva account. Once you're there, what we're going to do is just put in here, book cover. Just search it, that's probably the fastest way. And then you're given all these templates to choose from. Now in this tutorial, I do wanna show you how to go about creating a cover like the one you saw at the beginning of this video. And the template that I use to make that is this one right here. So simply click that and what's gonna happen is it's gonna open a new tab so that you can start editing your cover. Now from here, where I would start is by simply removing what you don't need. Now the first thing is this logo symbol. I don't really need that. Now in order to add your own perhaps logo or some sort of icon or symbol, you can use these elements right here. Now I'm not gonna show you every single uh, feature of Canva. You can go around and play around with Canva if you'd like. Uh, but uh, if you go here, you can simply choose any image you'd like. So let's say just for uh, demo purposes, I'm gonna uh, select something like, let's go to shapes, like that right there. Now this could be any image, right? But I'm just showing you how to go about adding an image. Now if you do make a mistake, don't worry, you can click up here where it says undo and that should take you uh, back a step. All right, so I'm gonna leave just the text now. The great thing about Canva is that everything's drag and drop and very intuitive. So if we drag it where we want, it will update in real time. Now, I'm going to call this social media marketing. So that's the title of my book. And at the bottom, 
This is where your slogan or your subtitle goes. For this one in particular, this is what I want to recreate. I simply said a blueprint to social media success. So I can simply put that, a blueprint to social media success. Now, if you do want to increase this size of any particular element, uh, like the text right here, I just click that once. And at the top here, you're given more options. I'm going to choose something like 32. So the existing size is 22.1. Let's increase it to 24. Just make a minor adjustments first and see how that looks. Let's choose 28. So that stands out a bit more there. Now, the next thing is at the bottom, we've got the author name. Now you can choose to put your author name or not. It's up to you. And at the top, there's an extra bit of text that you can add. So you can say best-selling author or, you know, new and updated. Now the next step is to add a background if you do wish to do so. Now I've put someone on the laptop here just to show the relevance with social media. You don't need to, but if you do want to make it a bit more different uh, instead of just a plain background here, we can simply go to photos. And from here we can search for available photos that we can use. So simply type here, I'm gonna search for social media, which I did previously. And that's the one I had used, this one right here. Now, if you hover over each image, it will show whether it's free or if it's a premium photo. Otherwise there is a good website where you can get free stock photos at unsplash.com uh, if you don't like any of these photos in particular. I'm not sure if some of these were actually from Unsplash, but if you don't find what you're looking for, simply go to unsplash.com. So I'm gonna insert that, click once. Now, as you can see, it's not sized to the book. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to drag it where I want and then use the drag option here with my mouse or your trackpad. So you size it in a way so that it covers that whole section and just drag where you want that image and what part of that image you wanna show. Now, if you look at my original cover, you can see there's a transition so that it's a darker background as opposed to this right here. So the way I did, did that was I chose the transparency option and just reduced it down until the actual book title and subtitle stands out. Now you don't want too much, otherwise the title doesn't stand out at all, but uh, I'm gonna keep it at about 30 transparency. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. Now, as you'll see, I did move a few elements here. And the reason why you'll see later down the track once we get to smart mockups is for the sizing. Now, this size that Canva does provide, it's not the perfect size in terms of pixels and resolution uh, for smart mockups. So when you import the actual cover, it's not going to be exactly right. So we're gonna to have to play around and tweak with this at the moment. And the way to go about that is to just kind of, I'm gonna move it down just like that and then move the top sort of uh, text as well. And I'm gonna move also the bottom just a tiny bit and this as well. And again, you'll see why once we get to the smart mock-up stage. The next step now is to move the background, the image here behind all the other, other elements. And as you can see, it's kind of showing the transparency. That's because it's in front of this uh, top sort of header here and also in at the bottom here at the footer. So what we can do is simply go to position, then we're going to move the image backward. Now that's gone backward behind that top header as you saw. The next step is to hit that button again backward so that it'll be behind that footer element too. All right, so that looks pretty good there. Once you're happy with your cover design, of course you can go back and edit this at any time if you do wanna make any changes in the future. But we're gonna hit download and it's going to choose a suggested format. This isn't always right. It shows PDF standard and we don't want a PDF. We want either a PNG or a JPEG file. Now, depending on the type of images that you put in, if it's something like a photo, then you wanna choose JPEG. Otherwise, if it's just plain colors and vector images like icons, then PNG uh, is better for that. But let's choose JPEG since we do have this photo kit download so that we can save it to our computer. The next step is to log into your Smart Mockups account. Uh, once you're logged in, you'll see a page like this. And if we simply scroll down and look for magazines and books, 
we can filter it by either free or premium templates. Now you can see a big difference. I mean, with the free templates, they're quite basic. I mean, you can get away with using these if you don't want to pay for smart mockups. And the free templates won't have that smart mockups watermark that goes over the actual design. Now with the premium ones, you can see just how it looks like. But what I'm going to do is also filter it by just books. We don't want magazines unless you do want to design a magazine cover. And I'm going to scroll down to the one that I used previously, which was this one here. Click that once. Now you're taken to this editing section where you can upload your front cover and also the actual spine. Now let's start with the front cover. Click on upload from and choose where you want to upload it from, from Dropbox, Canva or upload image. Now I did try using Canva, but for some reason I couldn't get it to work. So the simplest way is just to upload the image since we already saved it to our desktop or our computer. All right, now that I've uploaded it, you're then taken to this cropping page or this window. As you'll see, it's not really fitting in. And that's why in Canva, we adjusted some of the elements so that in this stage, we can now adjust it so that it will actually fit the smart mock-up ebook cover. So I've simply dragged it so that it covers the left and right sides. And if we simply just expand it, or move it and make a few tweaks just like that, we can get it right. Now we can select this where the alignment is centered and that should automatically center it. So if I move it right there, click that once, it'll center it right there. And now I'll just adjust it accordingly and that's it. So that looks pretty good there. What I'm gonna do now is just click on crop and continue and that should insert it on the actual cover. Now we're not done yet, we do have to add a spine. Now we haven't gone to the stage of creating a spine yet, but I'll show you how to do it now. The first thing you need to take note of is the spine resolution. So 200 by 1500, 200 width by 1500 height. We're going to go back to Canva. And from here, we're going to go back to home and then click on create design and choose custom dimensions and enter in those sizes that we saw. So 200 by 1500. Simply hit create design. This will open up a blank canvas for that size. And this is where we can insert the spine text. I'm gonna choose the text option right here. Click that once and then clicking on this option right here, add a heading once. And once that's done, just enter in your book title. Obviously we're not done yet and this is a matter of just tweaking our, the elements on this canvas here. The first thing we want to do is just increase this size. So we're going to increase it to something like 64. That's a bit too big. 56. Now it doesn't make sense yet, but just watch. If we just scroll and at the bottom here, we've got a rotate icon. We simply rotate it 90 degrees like so. So you can see there, there's 90 degrees. And from here, what I wanna do is just move this a bit so that once we do resize, we can still see the text. Now from here, you can see that there's a little cursor to resize. So simply do that all the way down till you can see the entire title. Now the next step is to position it. The easiest way is to go position. Then we're gonna go middle and then also center. That way we get it you know, specifically and perfectly on, in the middle and center, just like that. Now, the next step is to make sure we are using the same text. That's if you do want it. Now, how do you know what text we used previously? Well, if we click this once, we can see at the top, it says League Spartan. That's the font that we used. So if we click that once as well now at the, at, on the spine, we click that. And let's search for league and lead Spartans right there. Now we need to resize again and just position it to the middle and it's already centered like so. Now it's not really centered in my opinion if we look carefully. So what we're gonna do is just click that once and make some fine adjustments by using our arrows on our keyboard like that so that it appears centered to our eyes. The next thing we want to do is to make this spine color, the background, the same color that matches the branding of the actual cover. I want to use the red color right here. So if we click any of the 
let's say red elements here, or this right here, this element, you'll see this section here where it says color, click that. And from here, we just click on this new color section. And this will give you the hex code, this code that um, is for this color in particular. I'm gonna copy that, go back to my spine canvas, click the spine background here, click the color section. Then we're gonna paste in that code, then click on the color that was brought up. And as you can see, the spines right there. What I wanna do next is change the color of the text to white so that it pops more. So selecting that, I'm gonna choose the text color, just choose white and that's it. So it's better contrast and stands out more. Now, once we're done with that, we simply click on uh, publish, then download, save it as a PNG. And we're gonna head back to our smart mockups canvas right here, then upload the spine. Now we don't need to make any adjustments since we specified the dimensions when we were in Canva. Click on crop and continue. And just like that, the ebook cover is now completed. Now it's time to save the image. What you wanna do is customize the background so that it'll be suitable for your use. So depending on what you're going to actually use this image for, we can either choose a transparent background, which is what it is at the moment. This means that wherever you upload it to your website, it'll just use the background of your web page. However, if you do want to use a particular color, let's say white, we can choose this paintbrush tool, click on a color, let's say this one white or black or gray, red, pink, and really depends what you're going to use it for. I'm just gonna choose white and then click download. Choose your resolution, let's choose high. Now I've opened it up in my image previewer. You can see what it looks like. As I said, this was a premium template, which means that there'll be a watermark and that's what the watermark looks like. If you do wanna get rid of that watermark, you simply pay for one of their plans. So click on upgrade and choose one of their plans right there. So as easy as that, as you saw, you don't need any Photoshop skills or design skills. You can use the templates provided by Canva in combination with smart mockups. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, comment as well, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Make sure to also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos like this. In the meantime, be sure to watch these next relevant videos to help you further grow your online business.